So here's another thing that quite happens, often happens externally, and that's efflorescence going across tiles. I'm sure you've all seen it before. But doesn't let water into the building, nowhere near uh, a window or a door, but is it a defect? Anyone have an opinion? Seeing a lot of nods? Yes it is, and the reason why it is, is efflorescence has a negative impact on the slip resistance of the tiles. All right. But the question, big question is, who's responsible? Is it a tiling or is it a waterproofing defect? Anything? Looking for your help, Shane. <laughs> I'll give you a hint, all right? Tonight's session is about external waterproofing, all right? So I'm going to show you how it's actually... Water we look at efflorescence as a symptom of an underlying waterproofing defect, if that makes sense. Here's another example, efflorescence on stairs. And I can tell you that happened within six weeks of those decades being finished. Mm -hmm.